Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, in this little box here, a little wider this time. So you know it's going to be one of my little short videos here, kind of just off the top of my head. But hold on a second. Let there be light. There you go. Is that a little better? You know, I keep hearing Star Wars is dead. No one cares about Star Wars no more. Um, the Last Jedi was horrible. Everybody hated it. Everybody hated the new movies. No one cares about Star Wars. It has a female agenda or whatever. No one likes Star Wars. I keep hearing everybody hated The Last Jedi, although it's the top-selling home disc for 2018, the same year that it was free for most of the year on Netflix. You could watch it free for Netflix or buy it for $20, and yet it still becomes the number one bestseller. Don't know about you, but that doesn't seem dead to me. But those people part of the Phantom Menace Clubhouse, they will tell you Star Wars are dead, or a lot of them will. Which I get, they don't like it, they don't like it, that's cool too, but to say it's dead, come on now, let's say. So, we're going to look at some numbers just to see if Star Wars is dead. A good way you can tell, I think anyway, at least uh, the online culture, is social media. If Star Wars is dying, then that means YouTube Star Wars channel is shrinking, is dying, that people are unsubscribing to it or not engaging with it. Star Wars Twitter is dying and not engaging. Star Wars Instagram and Star Wars Facebook. Four of them. Now, if Star Wars is dying, you're going to see a trend, a downward trend of people unsubscribing and not interacting with that channel. Uh, so, let's start with Star Wars YouTube here and see just how bad it is. Because it's dying, right? No, hold on a second. Let me record the screen. That might help. Hold on just a second. Okay, so I need to record, record, record the screen so you can see it. Let's look at Star Wars. Star, I gotta spell it. Star Wars YouTube channel. There we go. We're looking from September 20th. Uh, not sorry, not September. June 20th all the way up to today. August 2nd, 2019. We're looking at an average Three, about 300 people a day. Let's see, the average, 201 people a day. In the last 30 days, the average is 6,009 new subscribers. Now, this YouTube channel has been up since, what, 2005. 2005. So, you would think if Star Wars was losing fans, that a lot of people would be unsubscribing. Let's look at the, uh, let's see, uh, subscribers, views. Let's see if it's ranked. Okay, I don't see anything that really, you don't really show you interaction, but uh, I know these social medias does. But again, I guess their worst day has been uh, the 24th of June, where they only went up 76 subscribers. But uh, today so far, we're only an hour into the 2nd of August, and they've already got 19 new subscribers. Who are these people? Who are these new subscribers? If the channels die, if the movie Star Wars is dying so much, why are they growing in subscribers? But maybe it's just a fluke. So let's go over to Twitter and see Twitter. Now, right now, people are flocking off Twitter. Twitter is not growing. Um, great accounts are losing. I mean, great accounts are losing subscribers daily. People are leaving Twitter. Out of all the social medias, it seems like Twitter's the one that's either... You're not growing fast anymore, or you're just, you're dying. So let's look. Let's see here. Uh, there the official Star Wars. And look at this. On June 21st, they got 1,392 subscribers. Um, let's see. Their average is 426 a day. Their average for 30 days. On average, every 30 days, they get one, they get 13,497 new subscribers. Uh, in the last 30 days, they lost one subscriber. One subscriber. And, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, they, they stopped following one person. I'm sorry about that. It don't show me how many they lost, but, uh, this shows you. If they show you what they lost, if they lost more than they've grown. So, like right here, 299, it was say minus 300 or whatever they lost. So, there's a look at how they're growing 13,000 new people every 30 days. Oh. <sighs> tell you if i was a uh, muscle if uh i wish my social media would die like this so let's uh let's look at instagram here i don't use instagram much i should 
Let's see how their Instagram's doing. Okay. Let's see here. Sorry, my Wi-Fi's being a little slow. Come on, look. Okay. Uh, on the 15th of June, they didn't get anybody or lose anybody, it don't look like. And then look, 5,000, 5, 4,000, 4,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. Look at all this. Look at this. On Wednesday, on the 30th, on the 31st of June, just a few days ago, they got 17,000 new subscribers. Now, the average for, the daily average for Star Wars on Twitter is 5,861. 5,000. And check this out. The monthly average that Instagram is getting new people following it on the Instagram Star Wars page, 175,830. Uh, now, you might be saying, well, these numbers are all weird or wrong. You can't trust it or anything. But I looked up mine. Now, if I could show you mine here, but uh, Twitter's losing about three or four a day. Like I said, Twitter's dying. Um, but if I look at mine here or my YouTube or my Twitter, my social media, I can tell by looking at that from what YouTube tells me and Twitter tells me and stuff that, well, not Twitter, really, what YouTube tells me, that these numbers are right. You know, when uh, YouTube shows that I... Add 20 new subscribers, then social. This site here I'm looking at, Social Break, also shows me that. So it's not that these numbers are skewed or off or anything like that. Now, I'm sure the uh, Phantom Menace Clubhouse members will tell you that Disney's paying for these numbers and everything, or maybe it's Russian bots that are joining all these. But let's check out one more. Let's check out Facebook. Let's see how Facebook is doing. Star. Oh, it'd be good if I spelt the name right, wouldn't it? Okay, Star Wars. Okay, some reason the logos ain't loading, but the now Star Wars is a little in the red here. Let's see here. On the 18th of June, they lost 1,127. Uh, I guess you won't call it flights uh, or people in their Star Wars group. I don't think they call it followers over there. But anyway, uh, on the 21st of June, they lost a little over 4,000. Uh, but then on the 23rd, they gained 21,000 back. Then they lost seven, lost seven, lost 7,000, lost 2,000, lost 1,000. They're there in the red quite a bit, but this 21,000 added on the 23rd. Uh, I wonder what happened on the 23rd. Why they went up there? Was that Comic Con weekend, maybe? Is Comic Con news hit? Is that when they grew on Twitter, too? Um, so that daily average is. 168 new people that's not great for a star i would think that would be more but it's not bad and i would love to have that every day um and the average every month it's not as good as the other ones but 5,018 new people joined the facebook star wars group i don't know about you now i don't know i don't think they have a twitch and everything let's just look and see i don't know about twitch i try to use them and nobody ever watches my videos when i put them up there so i don't really do much over there has a D minus here. I guess they don't use it much. They've got one subscriber in a month here. Um, I don't know. I would have to go over to some. I, it doesn't look like they do much activity here at all because they're not. They don't have anything listed. They don't have any gang rank. I think they just made an account. I'm not even sure that's an official account, but probably made an official account just to have it. Uh, Daily Motion, a mixer, mixer. I don't even know what mixer is. I'm sure they don't have anything. Anyway, that's... Now, does this mean Star Wars is dying? That's going to be up to you right there. But we're going to at least look at the facts here. If I got facts that show that Star Wars is dying, I'm going to tell you about it. Believe it or not, I am going to tell you about it. And if it's not dying, I'm going to show you. So... Don't take my word for it. Look at this social media. Everything's about social media today. If people hate Star Wars, are they leaving it? Trust me, if they were really hating Star Wars, these numbers would be down. Um, not growing. I don't understand. I mean, I'm surprised. Honestly, I'm surprised they're growing because they like the YouTube and Twitter. When they've been here so long, you think, like Twitter, you think whoever has Twitter already is already subscribing to Star Wars. So. I'm surprised that they're growing, actually. I am surprised. So, is Star Wars dead? Well, I just wanted to put this out, let you decide if Star Wars is dead, or at least is this, we can at least say the Star Wars social media accounts aren't dead. We can say that. Uh, I guess we will see how how everything is when the new movie comes out. We can see then um, 
if Star Wars is dying, but how well that does. But you'll have people out there, if it doesn't do as good as Force Awakens, they'll say, see, it didn't do as good as Force Awakens, it's dying. It's kind of like when an artist puts out their first album, it's a huge, major album, and then the second album does really great, makes millions of dollars, but it doesn't make as much as the first one. They say, oh, the second album failed. People's going to say that. They're going to skew it again. I hear it all the time that The Last Jedi failed, although it's the top-selling home disc for 2018, beat out. What else came out that year on disc? Uh, the Marvel movie, um, Infinity. What was that last one before Endgames? Whatever that one is, it outsold that one. It outsold Black Panther, one of the most talked about movies of the year. And, again, it was free on Netflix the whole time when it sold. I know people are going to say, well, Junkman, they're just trying to complete their collection. They're just buying it. But let me ask you this. If you hated the movie, would you buy it at $20 or would you wait and find it used to complete your collection? And if you just wanted to complete your collection, why not just wait till all three movies out? Because you know they're going to do a box set then. It makes more sense. Buy them all three at one time. But maybe you already have that. So you, I still don't understand why anybody would pay $20 for a movie they hate just to complete a collection. I can't understand. Maybe you found it at a used place or something like that, which those numbers don't account for. So it makes no sense to me. Even if people are buying it just to complete their collection, it really seems odd. I mean, that, that argument, just, I don't think it would be enough there to really warrant it. Be I don't think there's enough there to make it the top-selling DVD of the year. You know, I think it would be like 1%, 2%. And home disc sales are dying. People's going to say, well, it didn't sell as much as The Force Awakens. Well, of course it didn't. No disc is selling like that. That market is dying out. You can't compare 2015 or whatever it was to now because that market's dying. So, is Star Wars dying? I'll let you decide, but... Looking at this, I can't say that the social media, the social media accounts are dying. And it's about two, almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I can't talk. My mouth is dry, so I'm going to try to get my son off the PlayStation so we can watch a little TV and hopefully hit the bed soon. Thank you for watching. I got a video coming up tomorrow, and uh, come back and check that out. I'll be up to tomorrow afternoon sometime. Thanks. It'll be up Friday afternoon sometime, so make sure you come back. It's the coolest action figure line ever. You can want to see that one if you're in the action figures. Trust me. Thank you for watching. Be back very soon. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.